All right, I want to go through it and show you how I go and record different podcasts off of my Linux setup. So I've got the Samsung Q2U, which is both able to be powered off of USB or XLR. So you've got the USB, you've got XLR, you've also got a headphone jack coming out. This is a great starter microphone. Um, you have this on and off switch here at the front. It's made by Samsung and it's the Q2U. Um, this will only light up with the USB when you have the USB plugged in. Otherwise, XLR will give you much better sound quality. So I'll put that back on. Go ahead and plug in my XLR cable here. Here, snap. Um, so that's from my microphone. I've got it set up on a, a heavier stand. Uh, you can use the one that comes defaultly with it. So you just wanna make sure to position this within your from your mouth from about yay long on my USB network interface. I've got XLR here to the front with the microphone. You've got the ability for a second instrument. You can have direct monitoring with your headphone jack here. We plug this in. It's made the Euphoria 2M2 Behringer. On the microphone gain, this is all the way quiet. So turn this about three quarter way here. This one we want to turn all the way off because we don't have anything plugged in. On the back side, you have two outputs. You have the USB and you have the 40 volts on or off. We have that turned off because we don't need that for a microphone. On our output, that's what this guy is, that comes out to our headphones. So we've got it plugged in via USB into the laptop. And while you can record a single sound in Audacity and such, we want to go through and set this up to where it's pointing towards our face. And let me show you how to go through and use Discord for recording. Once we've opened up Discord, we can see, once we've got it started up, we need to then go through and check to make sure our settings are correct on our Linux or Windows or Mac box. In this case, I'm making sure the input and output is set correctly to my external card and then checking left and right. After that's done, I'm gonna go to craig.chat. This is where you can go through and download this Discord bot to be able to add to Discord. This is pretty awesome because it doesn't cost you anything. It'll record in multiple formats. It's very reliable. You get instant access to your downloads. And most importantly, it has multi-track recording built in. So this way, if you are going through and trying to go through and do a podcast and your audio is high, but your co-host is low, you're able to very easily edit this. So once you've invited it, you want to go through and check your Discord voice settings as well, making sure that it's using the correct input device, output device. And in this case, you may want to check automatically, uh, choose how the input, or if you want to set that manually, it's completely up to you. To get Craig invited, you can go slash join slash whatever the channel name is. In this case, we're just gonna go with general. It will then jump into the chat. And from there, you'll also need to go jump into that voice channel as well. You can start talking away. It'll start recording. When you're all done, you can press this stop recording. It will then instant message you a direct link to where you can go through and download your files. From here, it will take you to an external site. You can go through and click the download Audacity project, which is what I suggest. It'll download the avatars for each one of your speakers. You will also have a whole bunch of other formats you can download if you want. But Stick with the default, let's go with the Audacity project. When it downloads, it will download it as a zip file. If you click on the zip file, you can go through, double click on it on a Linux box, it'll then open it for you. And then from there, you can go click on the .aup file, and that will open up in the Audacity project. From there, it'll take a moment for it to unpack the first, second, third, or however many speakers there are. And then from here, you can go through and start editing. Now, what I'm doing in this next section is actually cutting off the front part of the podcast that was not part of the podcast. It was just us Welcome talking. Welcome, everybody, to the Holon Network podcast for January 5th Now, of in the top corner, you can actually see that we're peaking week, at negative me. four. Hey, we want to make sure it's around six or topping out at six. So we adjust that a bit. Anything we cut this. We're also going to cut the end. Yep, I think it's everything I had for this week. To our so I'm zooming in here. And then as you can go through and see, I'm cool choosing the section that. 
and I'm going to delete this entire section because it's not necessary. So I'm pressing and holding the mouse when I'm dragging this to find my selection that I want to delete. And then from here, I can go through. That's a good spot to be able to cut it then. I'm going to go through and after I let go, I can hit the stop button so it stops playing. And then I can hit the delete button on my keyboard and that just takes away that entire section. Anything else that you want to cover for tonight? Nope, I think that's everything I had for this week. Cool deal. You can find me on Twitter and on Mastodon. So, it sounds a lot better. Digital underscore Tinker on Twitter and DefCon.Social. Awesome. So, right, at that, this point, we're going to the end of the podcast. Week. See you then. Bye. So, you can see my audio continue to play longer than his. I press the stop button, and then I grab this highlight to the end by pressing and holding and then I hit the delete button on the keyboard from here let's zoom out and go to the very beginning of the podcast and see how my overall sound is you're going to go into effects then you're going to go to volume and you're going to normalize for me personally I like to start off with negative four my mic seems to go a little bit hot anyway so it takes a minute for it to go through compute this and bring all those pike those spikes and peaks down to a, a softer tone and then if I hit play, Welcome everybody to the we can see the meter on the top middle part of the screen is not going over negative six decibels, which is great. It's going to do the same thing to digitals. I'm going to go hit the select button. And then from there, his is not as hot. I'm going to just go negative two. Later on, I ended up doing another negative two. And it seemed to equal it out a little bit better. Yeah, digital tinker. And you can see that that visual... Uh, works out really well from there if we want to be able to import different audio for like a intro or whatnot go file import and then it imports it into its own track from here if we zoom in a bit we're going to select the two voice tracks and then we're going to grab the very top part where the names are to be able to grab it and move it over from there we're going to press the back button and then press play and we can see you're listening to the whole it peaked Network above podcast. the negative six, so it was going to red. So we're going to want to go through and adjust that to make sure that the levels are equal sounding. So I press stop. We select this audio track. We highlight it. We're going to go into that volume. We're going to go amplify and negative amplify. So we're going to turn it down a bit. And we brought it down quite a bit. Let's check to see if it peaks over that negative six in the top. Of the screen. You're listening to the Holon Network podcast. Looks like it's about Welcome six. To the Holon Network podcast. So that sounds okay. So from here, if you're ready to export your project, you can go File Export, name your podcast, and then click the Export button. And if you want to add this information, you can. Otherwise, press the Export button, and you can now go through and create your own podcast fairly inexpensively. If you found this video helpful. Give me a like, a subscribe, and let me know what projects you're working on in the comments below.